Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in the beautiful Nashville studios. And today we're going to talk about mag wells, magazine wells. Uh, a lot of people think the magazine well, the primary purpose is to uh, enhance loading uh, magazines, which is it really is. It's, it's designed to make the magazine well appear to be bigger uh, and uh, give you a, a spot to have some, uh, I guess, uh, area of... Uh, of error, so if you're coming up here, you don't have to exactly go into that, but eventually it has to go exactly into the hole. So, uh, bottom line is, it, it gives you a visual as well as a. Uh, uh, if you miss a little bit, it can bounce off and kind of get up into the uh, the mag uh, well and magazine channel itself. But I feel that there's another significant reason to have a mag well, whether you're a competition shooter or just a regular shooter. Uh, I believe the magwell helps improve your grip. And if your grip is better, your accuracy will be better. Okay, really, you think about it, uh, you know, when you shoot a shotgun, it's really about the cheek weld and about the placement and just, you know, knowing that the gun is basically where it is every time it's consistent. Same thing with a rifle. You want to be a consistent cheek weld, a consistent spot, everything's consistent. Same thing with a handgun. You want your grip to be consistent, and that's what the magwell does. It helps you get a consistent grip. Now, we've redesigned our Big Mouth Magwell here in Nashville. We've got new machines. I've got new engineers. And we've uh, improved it, I think, that uh, will make it a, a better piece for you with this uh, channel in the front. You'll see how this little finger uh, groove in the front is going to help my little pinky on my offhand once I get this installed. Insulation is pretty darn simple. Uh, comes with a uh, brass insert, which is uh, basically a, the three ounce. Uh, combination here. Uh, brass insert comes with two screws, two Allen screws, and an Allen wrench. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take these screws out. Uh, I'm going to install the black one. I have the red one here. It's available in all of our standard colors. Um, with our machine right here in the USA, in Nashville, right here in this shop, you can come by sometime and check out our machine shop. I'd love to show you. have someone take you for a tour around. Uh, like I said, they're available in all the colors. I have the red one just because it sticks out a little bit better. I'm going to install the black one here on this gun. First, we want to go ahead and put the plug into the um, uh, the lanyard hole base, basically, back here in the back. And it's going to go in and sit there. The hole is going to match up, and we're going to capture that in the gun uh, with this uh, screw. And I'll get it started here, get my Allen key, and get this thing rolling. So what we're basically doing is we're just locking this into the frame. And then uh, what we're going to do is then we're going to go ahead and lock the, um, uh, the magwell onto it. Now we're going to get it so it's, of course, just below flush. So it doesn't interfere with my palm at all. And so it doesn't interfere whatsoever. Now it's locked in place. And so our objective now is to put our magwell on top of it. Now we've got this thing, it's pretty tight by design. So we're going to go nose first. Nose being the forward edge of the grip. We're going to put the nose in and we're going to kind of get it anchored down. All right. And get it so it's kind of seated. Push it as far as I can with my hand. And I'll come back here with my trusty armorer's, armorer's uh, uh, tape roll there and just tap it down. Now look inside, make sure everything is all flush and it is. And so now. We're just going to capture it using the other screw onto uh, the brass insert, which is captured in the frame. Now, of course, I'm using an unloaded gun. Don't have any ammunition in the room here. Uh, every time we work with a gun, we always want to make sure it's unloaded. And I cleared it before I started the video, but I'll clear it again before I pick it up. So I'm going to just screw this in and just, you know, finger tight. Don't have to be too crazy about it. Don't want to strip it. Just keep it there like that. Okay. Gun is empty. And now, a couple things you're going to notice. Installed. Hand comes here. See how the butt of my hand down here, this palm strike basically, makes contact and drives my hand higher up. I can feel that, so as I reach for the grip, I know that I'm in the right spot. 
I've got enough meat on that that I know that, okay, good, I'm high up. Now, you watch this on the other hand. Okay, we built this thing so that it, it can take my pinky just like that. So now I'm forcing this hand up high as well. So the higher up I can get, the more control I have because men, remember again, we got a fulcrum action going here with this slide coming back, it wants to jump up. The higher I get up, the more control I have. If you're shooting down here, that gun has a better chance to jump off. If I'm holding down here, it can jump. I want to get as high up as possible, as close to that barrel, as close to the bore as I can. And that's one of the nice things about a Glock, the angle at which, or the, the, the distance at which you have your hand and the center line of that bore is closer than just about any other gun. And that's why the Glock is so darn controllable. So hand goes here, see that offhand jumping right in there. I hope you can see that right there on that uh, little lip we designed. And it's gonna force that left hand up and it's gonna really lock myself in here. And again, remember if you watch any of my other videos, you know that left hand is really everything. So I'm, I'm taking that left hand and I'm locking it on the, onto the frame onto my right hand, I'm, I'm squeezing my right hand onto the gun. And then I can put a little less pressure with my right hand so I can keep my trigger finger nimble and I can manipulate the trigger faster because I'm not clenched up. I've got about 70, 80% of squeeze on the right hand and 100, 110% on the left, I'm squeezing as hard as I can. And now the gun is in my control and the magwell helps me with that because it's pushing my hands up and it's really allowing me to one, get a better grip, but also a more consistent grip because my hands are in the same spot every time. And that's the beauty of the magwell. Now, it does fit all the magazines that we have. So we have basically you know, the uh, Terran Tactical extension. Yes, it fits easy, boom. We've got our double diamond extension. Yes, it fits. And of course the factory mag. So when you use a factory mag, you gotta go up there and you gotta use the palm to push it in there and you gotta make sure it clicks, right? Because you wanna make sure that it has a positive seat and it'll lock back on last shot. It'll feed rounds and all that. You don't want it to go ahead and, and fall out as you're shooting. So uh, it'll fit all the aftermarket magazine extensions as well as the factory one as well. So, Magwell, great item. They're available in different colors. Looks pretty cool. And it really has a function that I think that a lot of people don't understand. Certainly we can load faster, but really I think it helps your grip and it helps you uh, have more consistency and better accuracy and better speeds. I'm Lenny McGill. This of course is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. We've got everything you need for a Glock and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.